it's Sam. So today I'm going to be giving you a little sneak peek of an item that's going to be in the December BoxyCharm Luxe Box. So if you're not familiar with the Luxe Box, it's very new to BoxyCharm and it's basically just kind of like stepping up from the original BoxyCharm. So you're going to get more products. It's a little bit more money, but you're not going to get just four to five items. I believe it's like around eight to nine items. I am going to be showing you how to do this very chic, very simple, super duper easy and elegant bun with one of the products that is going to be in your December BoxyCharm Luxe Box. So this is what BoxyCharm looks like. You get the black box with the little box that says BoxyCharm. The Luxe Box will obviously be bigger. Um, this one is just my regular November box right there. But inside of of the December BoxyCharm Luxe Box, you're gonna get this mini flutter. And how adorable is this, guys? It does come with like the little um, holder for it so that if you are someone who's gonna be doing it on the run and it hasn't cooled down yet, you can just pop it in there and it's not gonna burn anything in your purse. So that's nice, it does come with that little protective kind of sleeve. And then this is the little flat iron. It is literally the cutest thing ever. How adorable is this, guys? What a cutie. It's so cute. It's like this really soft, light pink color. It's got these little diamond kind of design on the side. Really cute. It just has like a little on off switch. So it doesn't adjust. It's just an on or an off. And this baby gets hot. I was like, mm, we'll see how it does. It gets hot. This thing like really, for such a tiny little thing, I was really impressed with how quickly it heats up as well as how hot it does actually get. So if you are someone who's going to be getting the December BoxyCharm Lux Box, then, and you get this, you'll be like, hmm, what do I do with this? Now you'll have an idea of what to do with this tool. It is so cute. I love the color. I love the tiny little size. This is great for those of you who have bangs in the winter time. You know how it goes. You stick a hat on or maybe the wind has just been like, Phew, and you're like, oh, what do my bangs look like? And you get into the office or you get into wherever it is and you're like, my bangs look insane. Like it's a struggle. Um, this is gonna be something that you can just keep in your purse. You can quickly touch up your bangs, smooth them out, do whatever you need to do, and you're good to go. So, and then again, if you are someone who is maybe a little bit younger, or maybe, hey, maybe you still go out and party. I always feel like, oh, it must be something for young people, but then I forget that I'm married, and there's people that are my age that still are not married, and they are still going out and going clubbing and doing whatever it is that you do. Um, I'm just like an old lady now. <laughs> so I have kids, I'm married, that's not happening anymore. But when I used to do that, um, I was always going, you know, after, after you're dancing, you gotta go quickly touch up your hair, make sure you're still looking good. Um, this is a perfect little thing because it's so tiny. You can pop this in a, a tiny little clutch, it's so little. And then you can just touch up wherever you are, whenever you need to, you're so good. Let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. It's very sleek, it's very elegant. It reminds me so much of something that I would wear to the Nutcracker. My sister and her boyfriend just went, that's why I'm like, the Nutcracker, I've never actually been. But I told Jay, like, we need to go to the Nutcracker like next year all together. Like, wouldn't that be such a fun family thing to do for Christmas? This is gonna be something that you can quickly pull together in like just a few minutes. You'll see my before. I did the school run this morning. I got up at five, did not have a time to wash my hair. And I basically just pulled it up in a ponytail, stuck my bangs back and stuck a little headband thingamabobber on it. Um, so I basically pulled this together from a super dirty hair that was up in a curled like ponytail. My bangs were pulled back. They were looking all crazy. No one would ever know that you were secretly a hot mess just like five minutes before. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate that. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you love these like little quick, easy hair tutorials. I feel like all of my hair tutorials always say quick and easy <laughs> because that's my life. I want everything to be quick and easy. I don't want to foofy around with my hair. Don't forget to click those notification bells. That way you're uploaded. Or you're uploaded. That's That way you're, what is the word? Notified when I upload. And I think that, oh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Okay, I'm finished. Let's go ahead and get started. Bye. Okay, so this is the before. So I did my school run this morning and uh, I have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I don't do a whole lot in the morning. I usually stick a hat on. I just wanna see if we can, we can go from this 
to something that looks a little bit better. I basically had like a little scarf like head wrap on this morning and I just pinned my bangs back. But I wanna see if we can like fix the bangs and kind of make it look a little bit cuter than just like mom run. There's just a little flip switch right here that I've just flicked on and I'm basically just gonna let this thing warm up. I'm not sure how long it takes, so I'm just, it's so cute and tiny. Like, also this is great because I do uh, flat iron Lily's hair sometimes, and uh, she would definitely, I feel like, her, because it's like you can't get very close up because their hair is so like fine and they have such little heads. With the regular flat iron, sometimes I find it difficult to do like the bang area, so I just feel like this is such a good little flat iron for the bangs. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out. Oh God, when you take out your ponytail, it's like, it's so good, right? Am I right here? It's like literally the best. So I need some dry shampoo. I'm trying to decide, I think I'm gonna flat iron them first and then I'll dry shampoo after. <laughs> I look like a lion right now. Ah. Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna try and do my bangs to the side at the moment. What's going on here? Is that bang or is that not bang? Yeah, that's bang. Oh, they're looking a bit wild. So, yeah, I definitely need some dry shampoo. It happens to the best of us, my friends. Grease is okay. It's good for your hair. Um, so I think I do probably need a brush as well. Maybe I don't. EYT actually sent me this. This is not come in the boxy charm, but they did send me this little comb. So I'm just going to kind of like do a little... Oh, weird. It's like a little... That's really good to like really make sure you're getting all those tangles out because it has a little, you see that? What I'm going to do is take the first top layer of my bangs and I'm just going to pin that back because we really only want to focus on this bottom. We're just going to do it in sections because then it's going to lay down a lot better. Just taking that really small little section. And this is so nice because you can get like right up to the root. So we're basically just going to... Woo! That's hot! That heated up quick. Oh my gosh, this thing works so good for the bangs. You can get it so close. So I'm basically just going to give it a bit of a lift. And then kind of like curve it. Definitely do want to make sure that you're moving quickly and kind of pulling it. And then I like to pull it while it's still hot. Again, I'm pulling it down once it's hot. You just kind of want to move it where you want it to lay. Then hopefully once this one lays down again, I've had my bangs pulled up, so I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to really hope it works though. I'm not sure where that piece is going. So now I'm just pulling hair over a little further and I'm just basically kind of like smoothing and pulling this over so that it's just on top of the bangs. So that it's going to kind of like let that sit. Okay, so this is where we are going to dry shampoo. Uh, obviously my hair needs to be washed. So I'm basically just using this. It's Batiste. I actually haven't used this one. I just had it in my stash. So hopefully it works. My, my friend swears by this stuff. Um, I, it smells amazing. I've never actually, I don't think I've ever used Batiste before. Or maybe I have a long time ago and I can't remember. It does smell. Oh shooty, it's leaking all over my hand and my pants. What's going on here? I'm also gonna spray it. Oh, it's coming out so white. What's going on right now? Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? It's like spray paint on my head. My friend's hair is like super platinum blonde though, so no wonder she likes this. Rub all of that in and hope for the best. Okay, well that has definitely taken... <laughs> Hi! That's definitely taken the grease away. So again, I'm just going to pull that front bit forward just to kind of help that um, bang area lay down a little bit better. So I'm just basically going to get a low ponytail so that we just have a low ponytail like this and then what you're going to do is kind of pull some of this hair so that it's not quite as tight 
because you don't want to look like your head is just tiny. I have a really little head anyway, so I hate when it's like pulled super tight because then I'm like, oh my god, my head looks so small. And then we're basically just going to pull down. Okay, then I'm just going to basically smooth this out really nice and smooth. Okay, so then I'm just gonna twist all of this hair into like one big nice twist here and wrap this right around the scrunchie and then with another scrunchie, I'm going to take this and just wrap that around the back there. And then basically what you're gonna do is just start pulling the twist kind of apart and you just want to make it so that it's a little bit like bigger. Okay, so then this is when you're going to want bobby pins. I'm going to turn around for this. You're just going to want it to get the edges. And then if you feel little pieces of hair poking out, you're just going to want to get those and just fold it over and then tuck it under the bun so that you can't see the bun. Or sorry, so that you can't see the bobby pin in the bun. Just any piece that you feel like this kind of feels like it's poking out and sticking out, you just kind of tuck that. And then just give it a good old... Okay, so see now I have this little piece of hair poking out right there. So I'm just going to pin that little sucker in there. Where is it? I just saw it. Oh, is that a highlight or is that hair? I can't tell. Okay, so there's the final bun. So see now you kind of like secured it. It's all in place. And it kind of looks like a nice little like roll or like a flower. Some kind of delicious croissant thing. And then... From the side, oh, we have a bit of a situation. <gasps> we need another bobby pin. This is why you should always have two mirrors so you can look and see from the back, and, but then you also need to keep your eye out from the side as well. And again, I'm just gonna grab that. It's so hard when you're like doing it from another angle. There you go. Gotcha. And then I'm just gonna stick it in underneath the bun so nobody can see it. But then do you see how sleek it is by like getting those bangs nice and smooth and then just pinning them down? It just looks really just like classy and elegant. This is great to wear in the winter when you do have a turtleneck because it just makes you look really polished and like put together. Um, I feel like this is great for work. I feel like this is great if you are gonna be going out to a nice like very kind of like Maybe it's a work dinner and it's not quite as like, let's get all glam. It's kind of just like professional and like businessy, but you still want to look very classy and elegant. You could still wear this to like a holiday party if you want to. Again, it depends on who you're associating with. If you're going to go out with your girls and you're just trying to like, you know, have big hair and all that, obviously this isn't the, the kind of thing you'd want. But if you're looking for something that's very elegant, where the main focus is on what you're wearing versus your hair, this is such a great little kind of like, I feel like it's very work appropriate, daytime appropriate, but it's also really pretty at night. If you had like a full length, like full length arm dress that's long for like a holiday party or some kind of like benefit, like uh, I feel like there's a lot of holiday like Christmas benefits or you know that kind of stuff where it's some kind of an event at nighttime for your work or whatever the case may be. This is really elegant, super easy to do. You can have been running around all day with the kids or you can have been at work and you can quickly slip into like a really pretty dress. And this just looks really polished. And again, by just pulling that piece of hair from the other side if you do have like a side bang or even if you don't have side bangs just pulling it over kind of like at an angle but then still keeping this kind of going back and then just like smoothing it out i feel like this just made it look so smooth and sleek 
Um, but giving that body so that you still have like a little bit of a lift right there so it's not just like flat to your face. That way it's just like polished, elegant, you have a really pretty nice little bun. And I'll get closer because now you don't really need to see whatever. That door doesn't shut for some reason so I have to like keep a box there with a basket in front of it so it doesn't so it doesn't open, it's so weird. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, so now we'll do a little close-up spin around of what it looks like in the back. Again, it took me like barely any time. If I wasn't like making this video, I could have done this in like a few minutes. You know when you get the little Einsteins and they're like flying all over the place? You can always smooth these back and just pull it this way and then pull it into the scrub or into the the way the hair is sitting like into the ponytail and you can just smooth it down. Luckily my hair is actually really smooth today. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Like I feel like if I was going to go to the Nutcracker, <laughs> I don't know why, probably because it's like a ballerina bun and I think of like a ballet and the Nutcracker, but like how ballerina-ish is this, right? I would wear this to the Nutcracker with like a really pretty little outfit, something that's like a high neck, like very Victorian or something. I think that would be so, so pretty. Love this. I think it turned out really nice. That flat iron was awesome. Great if you are someone that has fine hair, if you are someone who has like a little short kind of like pixie cut or maybe you just have like a little bob and you don't have like a ton of hair or you do have or you are someone who has long hair but you have like side bangs or a full bang and you just need to like sort those things out especially in the winter like I said if you're wearing hats and you're like oh my god why is my bangs doing right now you can just quickly keep this in your purse smooth it out or just like have it in your bathroom and just like put it in like a little you know, like a little pot. Like, I mean, if this wasn't covered with brushes, you could just keep it in there. It's so nice and small and convenient. And then again, if you have kids, if you have daughters who have really fine hair, who have flyaways, who have like little bangs, this is gonna be perfect. I will probably end up keeping this in Lily's bathroom. The kids each have their own bathroom. And so it's like a Jack and Jill. Um, so I would, I think I'm gonna actually probably be keeping this in hers just because this is gonna be so easy to just get real close. This is where she always gets like, they get all kind of wavy and curly and they kind of stick out crazy. So for it's hard with the other flat iron because I'm like, oh, I don't want to hurt you. But with this, I can just quickly just bink right there and it's done. If you are someone who like maybe if you don't flat iron your hair, you have no use for it. What a cute little Christmas gift that would be for someone else as well. If you do get it in your Lux Boxy Charm and you're just like, mm, I don't think I'm going to use this. I've given you a way that you can use it even if you're like, I don't flat iron my hair or I don't do this or I don't do that you could still find a way to use it, my friend, just making it nice and sleek and, uh, you know, create a little cute bun. Um, but like I said, giving it as a gift. So I love this. Lily is going to absolutely love this as well for her hair because it's going to be way more convenient and way less fiddly of trying to get into the little tiny angles. But like, how cute is this, guys? I mean, why is stuff that's little so cute? I don't know what it is. It's just like, oh my God, it's a miniature house. I love it. Like, it's just so cute. Like my dad has this cat and the cat is tiny. I don't know what kind of cat this is, but it's just like, it's little legs are like just half the size of regular cats. And it's like a little tiny, it looks like a kitten, but it's full grown. It's like a little miniature, little kitty cat, kitty cat. And I'm like, I just love this cat. It's like the smallest, most tiniest, just sweet little petite that it's like, it's like a mini flat iron. That's what it looks like. It's so cute. And I'm like, is it a kitten? No, it can't be. And it's like, no, it's an adult. It's just really tiny. So tiny things are cute. I love them. They're very convenient. Again, you can get into those little fiddly bits of little crazy bangs or crazy little Einsteins everywhere. So that dry shampoo pulled through for us though, didn't it? Doesn't even look like I'm a grease ball, does it? <laughs> So there you guys go. It's a super quick tutorial going from like mommy school run to like very elegant chic. Oh, I'm going to the Nutcracker darling with a fancy little sparkly dress on. Don't forget to check out the December Luxe BoxyCharm box where you will be getting this adorable little PYT flat iron. So, so cute. I'll have the link down below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you love these easy hair tutorials, nobody has time for a bunch of like, I just, I'm sorry, I don't. I can't be bothered. I don't have time for that. My time is so limited and I don't wanna to have to foof around with my hair. I just wanna get stuff done. So this is one of those things where if your hair is dirty, you saw how dirty my hair was. If your hair is dirty, you've come back from the school run and you're just like, oh my God, I'm running late for work or I have to go and do this or you have an event after work, this is something that you can do in no time and you can feel very confident and very put together. Huge thank you to BoxyCharm for partnering up with me for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it and find it helpful. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.